Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the new MAC Aladdin collection. I'm gonna be sharing swatches and also talking a little bit about my favorites and what I would recommend for you guys to pick up if you are on a budget and you want something from this collection. I was so fortunate enough to be gifted part of the collection by MAC Cosmetics, but when it launched, I was so excited and I wanted this collection so badly that I ordered everything online, just the full collection. And then a few days later, MAC Cosmetics actually was kind enough to send me the products. In my PR package from MAC, I did not have the actual eyeshadow palette, but I do have it here because when I ordered the collection, I ordered everything. So that is what I'm wearing on my eyes. And I also have on the blush and highlight and lipsticks from the Aladdin collection. I'm a huge makeup lover, so this collection screams to me, and as soon as I saw it, I bought it because I needed it. I'm such a big Disney fanatic. I love Disney products, Disney movies. Whenever there's like a Disney line that's coming out, especially with makeup, I jump on it and I usually get it. Now for the average consumer that just wants to own some of the products, I'll recommend to you on what I would purchase as a part of this magic and what I would pass on if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend the most. And of course, money is not an option if you are a diehard fan, a Disney fan, if you're a fan of Aladdin. This collection is so beautiful, it's so aesthetically pleasing, and the colors can be incorporated in your everyday makeup routine. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and hear my thoughts on the collection, then let's jump right into the video. So I've got my foundation on my brows, concealer, powder, everything like that, and we're just gonna jump straight into the eyes. The first product we're gonna be talking about from the MAC Aladdin collection is the eyeshadow palette. So this is actually a times nine palette, so you guys can take a look at it. There are nine shades in here, and I just wanna say I love the front of the palette. It says Aladdin, and I just think it's really beautiful with the gold packaging. And this is the Princess Jasmine times nine palette. I was actually really surprised when I first saw this palette at how the colors were very muted and they're very wearable. I don't know, I was expecting there to be a lot of warm colors in here and maybe with like a pop of blue, like her outfit that she wears, which I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed. I didn't see a turquoise blue in here, but there is a duochrome blue and pink shade that is right here. It's just not blue enough for me. I really wish there was a turquoise in this palette. I feel like that would have made it a Princess Jasmine palette. It says online and also on this pamphlet that I have here that this palette is like a lot of jewel tones, a lot of sultry, smoky colors. And I definitely see that. I've done a look with this palette already for my Instagram and I did like a full on Princess Jasmine look and I saw like the final eye look was really smoky and it's very, very cool toned. And I have to say, I am not a huge fan of the MAC Times 9 palettes just because they're so smoky. Small. There's something about a really small pan size when it comes to a palette that just immediately turns me off. Like if the pan is like this tiny, I don't know why, there's no reason for it really, but it is a times nine, so it is rather small, but it does go along with a lot of their collections they've done for other Disney movies, like the Cinderella palette they did was also quite small. I still think it's really pretty, but I would have loved to seen like a huge Aladdin palette. That's like, that would make my life. If you're a Disney fan like I am, you can totally agree with the fact that having like a major big Aladdin palette, like, kind of like the Sephora collection when they came out with, a big one like that would just be so much better than something small. She's not huge, she is not a big palette, but she is still cute though. So we're just gonna hop right into the eye look. I'm gonna be using the P. Louise base. This is in the shade two, The Rumor. I'm just gonna blend this all over my entire lid. This palette's sold out on Mac's website, but I am gonna link it down below when it does come back in stock. So I'm first gonna go in with the shade Riff Raff. I can't say Riff Raff without thinking of literally Riff Raff. Sprang break. That movie though, that was crazy. I'm gonna blend this color into the crease and this is one of the only transition colors in the palette that is like a brown transition. The other one that is matte is actually like a light pink. So this is the only one that I probably would use in the crease. And this is described as a mauve matte. One thing you can't deny about MAC shadows is their ability to blend just so 
seamlessly and easily and they're never patchy, at least for me. Next product we're gonna be talking about is the Graph Black Technical Liner Eyeliner Kajal. And I love the packaging on this. It has these really beautiful turquoise blue feathers on it. And I think that this definitely gives me the Aladdin Princess Jasmine feels because her makeup to me, I would just think would be smoky with some black eyeliner. When I used this liner the first time, I really liked it because it is really black and it's easy to smudge out. So that's actually what I'm gonna be doing for this look. I'm just gonna go ahead and line the lash line with it. And then I'm gonna use the Dark Plum that is in the palette to go ahead and blend it out. And the eyeshadow I used to smudge out the liner is called Shadowy Lady. I like that this is a black and plum and it's not just a black because I can see a little tiny hint of that purple color. And sometimes a black eyeshadow is just too, too black. So I like that this one is more of like a really deep dark purple. The liner retails for $20 and I just have to put this out there. I really like this eyeliner a lot. And I think it is a pricey eyeliner, but it's so nice because it gives you that definition. I love making my eyes look longer on the outer corners, and this can be used for like what I just did, a smoky liner. Or you could do a wing liner with this if you have a liner brush. It's just really great for smoking out the eyes. I really like it. I'm gonna pick up this shade, and it's called Rags to Riches. This is the gold in the palette. I'm gonna use Fix Plus to wet my brush because I read you could use these wet or dry, and I actually haven't used them wet yet, so I just wanna see. I'm gonna place this on the lid. Ooh, okay, so they are much better wet. That is a stunning gold, it's really nice. And I'm just taking a little bit more of a pencil type brush to carve out the crease a little bit more with this gold. There is a pigment in this collection, and for me, pigments are always a little bit of a pain to use just because they're in a jar, they're not in a palette, and you have to be a little bit creative with these at times. If you wanna use them as a liner, you have to use like maybe a Fix Plus or a mixing medium, and as an eyeshadow, they can be really messy. I wish they put this color in this palette. It would be a little bit easier to use, but I still want to go ahead and use it for this look. I have used this color as a blush, and it was really pretty, but I wanna use it on my eyes. It's in the shade Rose, and this retails for $24. When you use pigments, I feel like it's essential, really, to wet your brush. You can get all that metallic -y goodness going on on the eyes. And I'm just gonna place this more towards the outer bit of my eye. And because I lost a little bit of that black, I'm just kinda going over that again. The eyeliner in the plum shade. The pigment was a little hard to work with and I would skip out on this with the collection. This is something that I feel is more for someone who is very advanced with makeup, also someone who is patient and that doesn't mind getting fallout on their eyes. This kind of gets all over the place. The color is pretty. I mean, it is really nice. I would like to see it without any eyeshadow on my eyes, just all over the lid by itself with no other colors. So I popped on some lashes and now we're gonna quickly do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the eyeliner again to darken the outer corner a little bit and I'm just holding this really tight to my lashes. And I'm gonna take that blackened plum shade and I'm just gonna smoke that out on the lower lash line just really lightly. One of the best colors in this palette is this silver. It's called Live the Genie Life. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush using the Fix Plus again. And I'm just gonna pop this right on the inner corner. And this color is like, bam, it is a spotlight on the inner corner. It's so silver and it's probably one of my favorite colors that's in the palette. And since we're just doing a full on metallic eye and I feel like the theme of this palette is just metallic, I'm gonna grab this shade right here. This is a really pretty highlight shade in the palette and it is very neutral so it would go with any of these colors. I'm gonna apply this right into the brow bone and it just makes the eyes glow and everything is so metallic. And I feel like this wouldn't be an Aladdin look if I didn't really smoke out the eyes so I'm just going back in with that black and plum and adding a little bit more darkness on the lower lash line. So we're gonna be using the Your Wish Is My Command Powder Blush and this is the bronzer in the collection. I think the packaging is so pretty. It's gold and it does say Aladdin on the front with this 
beautiful detailing in turquoise. It is a compact and there is a mirror inside, which is great. And what I love most about this is the lamp is imprinted into the bronzer. And I guess depending on your skin tone, this could be a bronzer for you or a blush. It's very warm and I would say this is very similar to Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. If you're a really fair skin tone, this is gonna be way too warm and way too dark for you. But if you're like my complexion, you're about like a light to medium. This is a really nice summery bronzer and I do love that it is a matte finish. It's matte, but there is little tiny flecks of gold sparkle, which I think is really pretty. And the lamp inside is not an overspray, so you can dust over it and it's not gonna disappear. It's actually pretty deep in there which is so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. I'm using my Esum X52 brush. I love this brush. You can tell it's super warm. It's described as a deep golden matte, but it almost has like this reddish undertone to it, which makes you look really tan. I love that they have a bronzer in this collection because Jasmine is so bronzy and she has such a beautiful skin tone. I feel like this is essential to be in this collection. Love, 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 love this bronzer. This is something you should get from the collection for sure. I was actually saying to myself, when I run out of this bronzer, I'm gonna have to find a dupe for it because I really like it. So there is another powder blush in the collection. It's actually a highlighter and it's called Always One Jump Ahead. And it's described as a gold with gold shimmer. And it does look very similar to the bronzer. It has that magic lamp imprint on it and it is still in this beautiful compact. So I'm gonna use my ABH brush to apply this highlight. This is a really golden highlight. So if you like very warm golden highlighters, straight up gold, you will really like this. So pretty, this is so, so stunning. The highlight is also something that I really love from this collection. It's right up there with the bronzer. It's a very smooth formula and the color of it, it just embodies Aladdin to me. And I think it's so beautiful. There are so many lip products in this collection. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them all for you guys. The first one we're going to be looking at is the number one wish crystal glaze gloss. This is essentially a lip gloss and it does say that you can transform a lip color with it and it conditions your lips. I'm pretty sure you can still put this on your eyes as like an eye gloss, but it does say that it is for the lips on the website. It's super glossy and like creamy to the touch. It has this pink tint to it. It's like a duochrome. It does say on the website that it's clear with a multicolor pearl. So it has like that clear pinkish shade to it. I actually really love the lip glaze, even though it's really sheer and it is very clear. It's like a clear lip gloss or almost like a lip balm. It feels so good on the lips. And this is something I could pop in my purse and literally use every single day. And it's just really pretty, especially for summer. Moving on to the lip glasses, there are three shades and it is called lip glass, but these are lip glosses. MAC lip gloss smells so good, so I am so excited. This one is called Jewels on Jewels and these retail for $19. This one is described as a warm pink with gold shimmer. This color I really like. I think it's very wearable. This is a gloss that I would wear with literally any eye look. And I love just the shine of it. These are super glossy. So Jewels on Jewels gets a yes from me. I really like this gloss. This next shade is called Magic Carpet Ride. And this is described as a light pink with pink pearl. And this one is really pretty. It is the pink lip gloss out of all three. I normally don't go for lip glosses that are this color. I think it would look pretty maybe over a darker lipstick, but on its own, I think it's a little bit like washing me out. I mean, maybe with a certain look, but this definitely wouldn't be the first color that I grab out of three of these shades. But if you are into really pale lip colors, like frosty shades, you will really like this gloss. The last lip gloss in the collection is called Diamond in the Rough. And this is described as a gold with gold and pink pearl. This one was actually one of my favorites, if not my favorite out of all three, because I love the tone of this. You could put this over a nude lipstick and it'll look so pretty. It's kind of like a highlighter for your lips. I actually have put this gloss over one of the lipsticks and it looks so pretty. I know it's really pale right now, but it looks so nice over the Princess Incognito lipstick. I actually want to give this Magic Carpet Ride a chance, put over like that pink lipstick that's in the collection that you'll see in a minute. Moving on to the lipsticks. So MAC lipsticks are some of my favorite lipsticks that there is. They're so creamy and smooth. They're pigmented and the way they smell, the MAC lipstick smell, it just smells so good. So 
already love MAC lipsticks, but if I do have to just say this right now, all four of these colors I really like. And if you do buy anything from this collection, it should be one of these lipsticks because you will really like these. First of all, the tube is super pretty. It has all this beautiful detailing on it with the feathers and it does say Aladdin and Mac. This one is called Raha, which I think is so cute because it is Jasmine's pet tiger. And this is described as a muted red berry. I love this lipstick. I think the color is so pretty. It's this beautiful berry tone. And to me, it's very fall, but this is a lip that I could see myself wearing like any time of the year. It's not too, too fall. Like it's not too dark and it's not too light. It's just really defining and I love, love the color. The next shade is Whole New World, and this is a bright blue pink as what it's described on the website. And this really is a vibrant pink. This is so pretty. And I do wanna say that I could have sworn I saw Princess Jasmine in the trailer to the new movie wearing a color very similar to this. And I think this pink is really pretty. So this is a yes from me. I love this color. And just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and put this Magic Carpet Ride lip gloss over the top. This was the really pale pastel one that I kind of wasn't digging. It's even more beautiful with the gloss on top. So if you do get this pink lipstick, I think that this color Magic Carpet Ride looks so stunning over the top. This next shade is called Friend Like Me and this is described as a cool neutral beige. And this one is one of my favorite, favorite colors out of all four. I would say this is my second favorite. I'm saving the best for last, you guys. But this color is such a stunning nude and I actually love this as like a lip color you would put in the center of another lipstick. That's how I'm gonna be wearing it today, which you guys will see in a little bit, but this color is everything. I love it. I've saved the best for last. This is my favorite thing in the whole collection and this is the lipstick in Princess Incognito and this is described as a neutral pinky rose. Am I shocked? I love nude pinks, like pinky nudes. That's like my happy place and you guys should see my drawer of pinky nudes. This shade is so stunning. I feel like I could wear this every single day and love it. I think it's a beautiful pinky nude color that would look good on a lot of different people. And for me, this is like a go-to color. The finish of this one is matte and it still feels really comfortable on the lips though. I love the MAC matte lipstick formulas. I think they're probably my favorite. And the Friend Like Me is an amplified cream. So I'm actually gonna pop this over the top. This is my favorite way to wear this color. Putting Friend Like Me in the middle, it's like a little highlight on the lips. Super pretty together. And then if you take this color, it's called Diamond in the Rough. This one was looking a little scary on its own, but when you put it over the top, dang, it is really pretty. I just can't get over it. These three colors together is everything. I love this combo. So if I had to recommend like the most, the most, the most, the most amazing thing from this collection are the lip products. And Friend Like Me, Princess Incognito, and Diamond in the Rough, all three of these together is like a nude lip in, in heaven, like a match made in heaven. What am I talking about? I'm speechless because I like this lip color a lot. These three together is just like the perfect glossy nude lip. It is stunning. Faves. All right, you guys, here is the final look using the MAC Aladdin collection. And I did go and pop on the pink lip and I did that combo that I tried. I did the whole new world with the Magic Carpet Ride gloss over top and I just love it. Just because I've done the nude lip already and I. I already really like it and I just wanted to try this one on and I am obsessed. So out of everything I used in this tutorial, my favorites that I would recommend to you guys is first of all, all of the lip products. All of these colors and all the glosses, I just really liked. Even the ones that were a little bit iffy at first that were really pale. I feel like over the top of the lipsticks are just so beautiful. These colors are so pigmented and rich and I love how some of them are bold like the one I have on, but there are some neutral colors you could wear every day in the lip collection. And I love the face powders. I think they're super pretty and the matte bronzer, love it. I could totally use this all the time. And the highlighter, I love the color of it because it's nice and golden and warm. I think it's really pretty. So I would totally recommend all the lip products to you guys 
and the face powders. So you guys know how I feel about this collection. I thought overall as a whole, it is a stunning collection. It looks beautiful, but I'm glad I could help you guys with this tutorial on deciding what you wanna get from the collection because I know it's super pricey to get every single thing. And there are products that just stand out amongst the rest. So I hope I helped you guys out with deciding on what you're gonna get from this collection. Comment down below if you are getting anything. I would love to know what you're purchasing. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals